stress and heart rate variability, R H R V for short. Hi, I'm Angie. Hey, I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us, L I Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Stress and heart rate variability, or HRV. You go, how the heck am I going to figure that out? Well, right. most of you, or an awful lot of you, have one of these. We do. And a lot of times you can watch your HRV. Now that will be in the if you have a fitbit it will be in the health matters yeah um so you can open that up and you can see your hrv right okay your heart rate variability hrv begins to decline as you start getting stressed or sick yeah so it can be used as your very first indicator right and what it means is you're sometimes maybe stopping your heart Okay, and I don't mean long enough like you're going to faint or something, right. but it just becomes somewhat erratic. Okay, so this is a number that you want to be inclining, getting better, higher all the time. Okay, that means you're healthy, yeah. you're good, everything's good, even kill, balance. It's really about balance. Yeah. Again, we're always bringing that up. Yeah. Keep your HRV intact despite your stress. Yeah. And recently my HRV started declining because I'm getting ready to have surgery. And so it started worrying me because I want to go into surgery being the best I can be. Right. And the healthiest I can be. So I started looking into how can I make my HRV better? Yep. And I knew mine was stress. I, I, I really knew it wasn't like I'm getting sick. I'm just stressed. Okay, number one, keep hydrated. Yep. Hydration sensation. Yeah, watch out water and um, make sure you're getting plenty. You can't drink too much. You cannot wait till you're thirsty. No, you've waited too long if, and yeah. you can't catch up. I've had a lot of doctors tell me that because I'm really bad about forgetting to drink. Yep. So we've had to come up with, we set on the counter each morning what we're going to drink as far as water, how much water we're going to drink. And right. at the end of the day, if we're behind, we have to catch up and then yeah, we're getting up right. in the middle of the night. Yeah, right. then it's a so long you don't want to do that. No, so number two, eat healthy and stay away from high sodium foods. Right. High sodium foods will stress your body out and will help, you know, keep your HRV going down. Yes. Yeah, and you don't want it to go down. And sodium is bad for a lot of things. Number three, stay away from alcohol or at least limit it. Because alcohol is an HRV dropper. I can have one drink and my HRV goes down. At least then I know what it is. Right. Now, we haven't been drinking for several months because we both were having surgical procedures and we wanted to make sure we heal well so we quit drinking about seven months ago yes so but i but i i did watch before and you know a glass of wine and boom <laughs> yeah. there goes the hrv but it, it would come back the next day sure number four get your vitamin d and or sunlight yep make sure if you're taking vitamin d you're taking it with a good fat so that you're absorbing it right Otherwise, sometimes it will just go straight through your body. That's no good. Yeah, that's right. Number five, get good regular sleep. Now, yeah. re good sleep means you're actually sleeping and you're sleeping well. Again, these things are good they for, tell you. they tell you how you sleep. And they tell you how your stress level is. Yes. They and they tell you your HRV. So if you bought it and you're spending the money on it, use it. Learn that's to right. use it for you know your own health right number six manage your mental stress you yes. know you've got to learn also to tell the people you're around i'm stressed yeah i need help 
Yeah. Don't let things get out of hand. Right. Don't let them build And up. try not to focus too much on the things you cannot change. Right. And then the things you can change, change them right away. Don't procrastinate. Right. Number seven, get exercise. Walking, yoga, lifting weights, you know, and doing whatever people do, you know, for fitness. Right. There, there's nothing wrong. No. If it, you're a you swimmer, swim. I just, can't do anything. That's, yeah. 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 There's just nothing wrong. Exercise. Find, find your own exercise. Yeah. We love yoga and walking. And... Um, but to each of their own. You're just right. just find one you like just and you're motivated it. by. Do it. Number eight, try the Life Square diet or intermittent fasting. Yeah. It helps with the HRV. Yes, it does. And number nine, number meditate. Nine. You don't have to meditate for hours and hours. There are apps you can do it for 15, 20 seconds, one minute, you know. Learn to meditate because it brings so much balance in your life yes. and it will help your stress level, your heart rate variability. Very, very important. Like I said, if you're already spending the money on these things, use those numbers. Yes. Learn to use those numbers and learn to create functionality in your life that makes these numbers better. Slow down. That's why you bought the darn thing. Right. Whatever brand it is. Use it. Use it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us at Life Group. See you soon. Bye. Now. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Thanks for watching.